I'm Marcy Baker and I am an author with CNT Publishing. I also design tools with them. And this is our Clearview Triangle Ruler. It's our 10 inch and it works really well with our log cabin book. Let me show you how these designs come together so easily. So here's how we use the ruler. I've got a strip here cut at one and a half inches and we're going to cut two different kinds of shapes. One is called a triangle log and you'll be told what size. Here I'm going to cut a four and a half. First step is to cut an angle. We're going to line up a rule line and actually it's better to use a longer one. We're going to line up a rule line here and we're going to cut that angle. That's establishing a 60 degree. Then we're going to turn this around so that as a right hand cutter I can make the cut. And we're going to cut four and a half inch triangle log. The four and a half inch goes along the top here. It's basically whatever measurement, it's at the bottom of the, the base of the triangle that we're cutting. So four and a half. And then we would take and rotate our ruler to cut the next one. So this is a triangle log and we'll use that in different blocks. We also have a diamond block, which we've already um, cut this, and so we need to cut another one, and they are always quarter inch, so we have a four and a quarter. Oop, let's get four and a quarter lined up. It's four inches from the top here, plus that quarter. We're lined up, we're at that corner, and we're gonna go ahead and make this cut on this side. We don't wanna cut right here, otherwise we'll be back at a triangle log. And this is called a diamond log. And so you can see how different they are. I want to show you one other shape. We're going to go back here and we're going to cut a different angle. It's going to be angling the other direction. You can see how this goes this way. We're going to be angling that direction. We're going to cut here and then we'll turn it back and we'll cut another four and a quarter and we'll have the ruler down here at the bottom with four and a quarter at that corner. And I want to show you the difference. These are both diamond logs, but one leans to the left and one leans to the right. Those are the two shapes that we're going to need for these designs. Let me show you some of the designs that we can do. We can do, nope, let's start with an easy one. We can do a triangle where we add our blog or our logs around the shape and then we can have a diamond where we just add our pieces around start with a diamond and then we add a smaller and then larger and we gradually get bigger that's our diamond block and then we can have one that's a diamond block with a triangle block added on either side this one goes in the center of this quilt behind me and you can see how that fits into the design. A lot of people think this is overwhelming to them. A neat thing about this particular quilt, it, it was done with an ombre fabric that gradates across the fabric. So this was actually very easy to get the fabrics uh, to do the work in the quilt. And you might be going, how do you piece that? A lot of our designs in the book have where you do a design. Here's a diamond block, here's a triangle block, another triangle. You make six of these and then you sew three together and then you have six come together and that makes the design. Most of them have a design that's a wedge and you do six of them and they come together very easily. There are 40 designs in the book and let me show you a close-up. Uh, here is one. One design that was really fun to make. This one here, Happy Day. And you have step-by-step -step instructions. There are 40 designs in this book. And we have a layout so you can pick and choose from this index of designs. So thanks for watching and I'm Marcy Baker.